Such a complex facility as the Nika Collider cannot be created overnight. Implementation of the full research program at the Collider is not possible with the initial equipment configuration. That is why several consecutive upgrades, namely modernizations, were included in the design of the Nika Collider. The Collider will start its operation in the baseline configuration of the equipment, while some subsystems will be excluded from this baseline configuration. For example, when the collider first becomes operational, the RF system will not be operating to the fullest capacity, and it will only have stochastic cooling. Electron cooling will be built later. There will be no beam feedback system either. Working in such conditions is possible under reduced intensity. At the first stage of its operation, both tuning of the collider and tuning and testing of detector elements are expected. It will be performed at the level of luminosity of 5 times 10 to the power of 25, that is about 20 times lower than the design luminosity. After all systems have been tuned and the detector system has been tested, a full range of equipment will be installed. It will be the first modernization of the collider ring. Thereafter, the design luminosity of 10 to the power of 27 will be reached. But it is not the last thing that will be done to the collider. At that moment, and at the initial stage of its operation, the collider is going to be created in such a configuration that allows for colliding nuclei of one sort. The second part of the nuclear collision program is the collision of heavy element nuclei with light element nuclei, up to protons. To ensure such a collision mode, we will have to upgrade the straight sections adjacent to the detector and to reposition some elements of the collider optic system. An additional development of the collider injection chain will be needed which means the development of the nucleotrons operation schemes will be required in order to consecutively fill the rings of the collider with ions of various sorts. The goal of this program is to perform collisions of heavy ions with protons at the same level of luminosity. These experiments are essential, both in terms of tests and the verification of the results of heavy ion collisions, and as a certain asymptomatic approximation, while also being interesting on their own. The fourth part of the physical program of the Nika Collider that will also require serious modernization to enable experiments based on polarized ion and deuteron beam collisions. To organize such collisions, a new detector will have to be installed, the so-called spin physics detector. This will require the replacement of a part of the elements located on the circumference of the collider with devices necessary for the diagnostics of beam spin and particle spin orientation and with instruments of spin control. Thus, the whole life of the Nika Collider has already been mapped out for the next 15 to 20 years. Such consecutive upgrades will turn the Nika Collider into a unique university for training specialists at a very high level in a wide variety of disciplines. Consistent upgrades will be made every two to three years, which corresponds roughly to the time of preparation of doctoral dissertations or PhD theses for foreign students. We expect that such an attractive feature, and we are striving for it, will be used to train personnel for various industries both in Russia and in the member states of our institute.